Okay, guys, welcome to the Chosen One podcast show. If you landed on this podcast episode, you are probably a manifesting generator and a female entrepreneur, coach, or expert. So welcome, take a cup of tea, and listen, binge listen to all the amazing episodes I have set up for you. Episodes to help you create the right energy and mindset to create the manifesting generator business and life of your dreams. Here we go. Okay, loves, it's kind of a weird time to be recording a podcast episode since it's 3 (laughs) p.m. or a.m. Sorry, 3 a.m. So it's in the middle of the night here. But my daughter is wide awake. And this actually never happens. So when it does happen, I'm not going to fight it. (laughs) I'm not going to resist it. I just went downstairs with her. She's watching JJ and I decided to record an episode. And hopefully by the time I'm done recording, she'll she'll be a little bit more tired again. And we will be able to go back to sleep. So... This is an episode that has been lingering around. I actually have quite a a few episode topics um, in my mind regarding human design and um, also a little bit deeper into the gates. But I want to start off with this one episode where I want to share my biggest takeaways from a recent human design reading I had with a beautiful aligned projector sister. So Arina is a projector 5-1. And this is actually something I did not know before I started working with her. I had a... Um, a call with her I think a couple of months ago and it was really an introductory call to see what out of her offers would be a good fit for me or actually that wasn't that wasn't really the reason why I booked the call I was already contemplating the the uh, human design reading but I want to know a little bit more about it. So I had a call with her and at that time I still wasn't 100% sure that that was the thing I needed at that particular time, but somehow it kept calling me. I had an amazing call with her and um, weeks after that, I sort of came across a couple of more human design coaches. One was a manifesting generator one three and then the other one was a projector one three. And my mind sort of thought, like, maybe you should go to the manifested generator or the projector 1-3 because they know your design as a 1-3 best since they are a 1-3. But somehow, Adina kept being on my mind and I stepped, I kept feeling like, no, you need to go with her. You need to go with her. And one thing I loved about Adina's um Uh, about Adina's human design reading is that she also provides two weeks of Voxer support, which is something I absolutely love. I do a lot of Voxer support with my clients. And um, in the Voxer support, I feel like the magic really happens there, right? So I had the human design reading with her, which was a, I think, a one and a half hour call. Uh, So she gave me the human design reading. And then after that, I had two weeks of Voxer support where I could ask any additional questions around my um, about my chart and then like sort of like see what comes up in real life, which I absolutely, absolutely loved. So my biggest takeaway from that human design reading, I guess the first one was that she really spoke about my gate of the huntress i don't know by heart right now which gate that is but there is a gate in my human design chart which is called the gate of the huntress i actually already knew i had that gate because in a time that i really dove deep into my jinkies profile i also discovered that specific gate and at that time i remember that it really spoke to me because i was like oh that is interesting because that really sums up my life right so a big thing for me in my life is that i always have to wait for the right timing (laughs) 
<laughs> so as you guys have known by now probably is that i have been feeling that um uh, the energy of our child for a very long time before we even conceived her and i think i have had dreams of her um since i was like 16 or 17 years old <laughs> It actually started since I started dating my husband. We've been together for ages. And um, um, I always knew that this child was going to come. <clears throat> but I had to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And I had to wait until my husband was at a point that like, he was like, yes, okay, now it's time, right? And when he felt that, she actually came. But that took a lot of Huntress energy to like postpone and not push and initiate and try to force the hunt, so to speak, into reality. Well, this is like a personal, like an example for my personal life. Hey, what the heck are you doing? climbing on the couch um but i also really started noticing this in my business right so i have noticed in my business that i am like the huntress gate in essence is that you are the huntress right so imagine like if you have the huntress gate in your um in your chart i will actually like link the number of that chart of that gate, I will link that in the description of this podcast episode. So if you're curious what that specific number is, you can go and to the description of this podcast episode and you will find the specific um, gate number. But uh, because I have to look it up, I don't know by heart. But um, um, the Hunter's Gate, imagine yourself standing on or like living on a field or in a woods, right? I always envision it like that. I see this woods and then there is this open field in the wood. And I'm like living there and I have my <laughs> my gun, which sounds a little bit um, mean, but it's like not mean. It's, it's a gun with love, okay, <laughs> with love bullets. <laughs> but I'm like in the field, I like I'm in the woods, I have my gun and I just have to be patient and wait and wait until my prey gets into the field okay so i will move around through the forest finding like the places where most um animals live but i have to be like i have to wait until the perfect moment to take the shot right i can't just go off with my gun into the woods screaming yelling being like hey guys here i am and then just like shooting bullets everywhere in the hope that one bullet hits one of my beautiful animal yeah. with the love the love bullet right because at our love bullets of course that is not how it works i mean i would literally scare off any freaking animal that would come along in my energy field right so my job as the huntress is to be really Billy, I have to be like, I have to be on the lookout to where can I find my beautiful target audience, right? So I sort of, I host masterminds, for example. This is a great way for me to get my, um, uh, to get my clients or future clients into my energy field, right? So imagine it's like as if I uh, create a beautiful um, a place in the woods where the deers can get fresh water. Like fresh water would definitely um, uh, invite the deers yeah. to come to me. So this is how I view my master classes, right? My few, my free master classes are me providing a beautiful water pool for the deers to come to. So when they are at the water place i can actually sort of see and check out and be like okay what what dares lights me up right which animals do i get excited about which of them do i want to continue to work with which of them do i want to shoot with my gun of love bullets <laughs> so this is actually how i really use the huntress gate and i actually designed a specific sort of like method to really apply that hunter's gate very successfully 
into my specific business. Like I said, I already knew I had the Huntress Gate, but by Adina reminding me of that Huntress Gate, I sort of remembered on a deeper level, yes, this is like my specific like my specific thing in my business. This is why my business model works so well because I have that Huntress energy and I know how to apply this Huntress energy to my specific business. Not only to my business, also in my personal life. I have to apply the Huntress energy on every area of my life. So in my personal life, I apply it um uh, a lot as well and it takes a lot of waiting it's like it takes waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for that perfect moment and perfect opportunity to arise and then like shoot the gun right or like release the bullet and then you have like like you have like bullseye right so when you have the patience to wait long enough for the perfect situation to arise then i always know i hit bullseye and that has been a very interesting path of mine and something i had to learn over the years to really trust the divine timing and to understand that there is a divine timing and that as long as i trust myself and my spirit team and my guides and trust the fact that that perfect moment will always arrive arise and that that perfect beautiful dear or soul aligned client will come up in my energy field at the exact right moment that is the gold right like trusting that divine timing and knowing how to work with your spirit guides in my case my spirit guides to create those opportunities and to also fill my time with very sensitive things in the meanwhile, right? Because you're not just going to sit around and wait for the deer to come and not do anything um, um, uh, useful, right? You want to do something useful in the meanwhile because otherwise you get bored. And when you get bored, you will start doing weird things. Like a hunter that is bored in the woods is just going to do stupid things. It's going to scare off the animal. So, the hunter is just like really meant to do beautiful things in the meanwhile, maybe create a beautiful new um, um, arrow or maybe create a beautiful little home for himself. He just has to like fill its time with interesting things that lights him or her. I don't know why I say him because I have a huntress. <laughs> I have this male association with it, but he just has to fill its time with things that excite excites him and then just wait for the perfect opportunity so that was one of my biggest takeaways like her reminding me adina reminding me of that huntress gate then a second thing that was really helpful for me is that she sort of under she explained to me that in human design you have certain circuitries right so if you look at your design if you look at your complete design you will see that Un, like unless you're a projector <laughs> or a reflector, but we are manifesting generators, you will see that you have certain gates connected to each other. So if you have a line connecting from one gate to another and it's filled, like it's colored in, that's a connected gate. And uh, Richard um, from um, uh, the Jinkies has actually written a very interesting book about this circuitry. And it explains how those circuitries, um, if you like look at all those circuitries, you can really read into your human design. So I actually bought that book as well to get like more in-depth info about my specific clients and their circuitries and their gates to understand more about how they can apply this in their marketing. So that was very useful for me in the regards of like becoming a better coach, right? It actually gave me another tool to become a better coach to my specific clients. And then I think the third big takeaway for me was that I can actually really, really trust my intuition my guides my source energy and all the um, insights and downloads that i get because when i look at how i have always run my business from the starting of my business in 2017 
hindsight looking back i realized that i've actually always done things that are com completely in line with my design and back then i didn't know anything about human design but i've always like intuitively knew like this is the right thing for me and i think this is something that you probably will find out as well if you would book a human design reading um, that you find out like, hey, interesting, when I look back at my life, I've already done so many things that were in line with who I am. And what that actually did for me, finding that out in the human design reading, is that it like sort of, it, it amplified my, um, uh, my confidence in myself. It gave me a confidence boost, like, oh my God, yes, I know I can really, really trust myself and my guides and my intuition because I have been doing the right thing all along. Now, of course, there's no such thing, yeah, baby, as uh, right or wrong, but um, in essence, that's what it did for me that I felt like, oh my God, yes, I am doing the right thing. So my daughter is now telling me that she has to go to the bathroom. So I have to take her. I want, yeah, yeah, baby. I want to um, give you one final thing. If you are feeling drawn to do a human design reading, to get a human design reading yourself and you're interested in it, I would highly recommend checking out Adina. She, like I said, I really, really love the way she did it for me. And I really, really love the Foxer support I got. And she also actually decided to give all my listeners a 50 euro discount or dollar discount, I guess. I think it's dollar, a $50 discount for all of my clients. And you get that discount with a special code, which is Sophie D. So I will also provide that specific link in the description of this episode. It's a specific link. If you use that and you book through that link and you use the code Sophie D, you get a $50 discount on the human design reading. And I believe it's a $350. Uh, I think I paid $350. And then you get the one and a half or two hour reading. And then also um, a two week Foxer support. So check it out it will be all in the description of this episode and if you are curious about that specific gate the hunter's gate um check it out in the show notes as well i will link it up okay so excited for this um i'm not oh it's 333 three, three. love that timing perfect timing to end this call like to end this episode and uh, we'll talk soon <laughs>